I have personally hopped from one distro to the other in the year 2020. I've always been fascinated by the amount of choice in Linux. But when I was a newcomer, sometimes it did overwhelm me. Today I came across a distro that did catch my attention. None other than Qtfish OS, which practically took away much of the choices and replaced the desktop with a clean and elegant one. Rather, a stunning one. This is truly not another ordinary Debian fork. I have been using this distro for a while and what I conclude is that simplicity is the basic foundation of this distro. Well, this is a beta version and not ready for daily use. After booting, we are greeted by this beautiful desktop made with KDE basic frameworks and Qt Quick. Of course, inspired by macOS. I was a bit skeptical about this since this distro targets newcomers and most of that users would change from Windows that how they would react to the dock approach but they have provided with you another option accommodating both the users at the same time. The visual change is refreshing from the default looks of popular distributions uh, using GNOME and KDE. The top bar is clean and allows us to do some basic operations like change the keyboard layout, sound, open settings, change themes and access power options. A lot of space appears to be wasted on my left side of the panel but it has a global menu. This feature saves space in apps and makes them look clean but the utility of menu in file manager is redundant as for me. More on that later. Talking about files, it has its own file manager which kinda looks like Nautilus. This icon allows simple operations like display as icons or as list, sorting options and more. The properties page has no tabs and gives the location of the file, the size, access and modification date, etc. Also the type of the selected object. Contrary to the properties on KDE which is divided into four tabs giving us access to other stuff like checksums, permissions, owners and other details. In fact, there are probably no methods to change the permissions of a file. It is again designed to be simple. Talking about design, if we just quickly hop into settings to change the accent color, it is reflected system wide. Not drastically, but subtle changes take place. The settings app allows only low level personalization like changing into two different themes that is the light theme and the dark theme there are some awesome wallpapers to choose from also it allows different pointers for your mouse however you are stuck with the icon pack that they have provided and general look and feel of the system you cannot change the colors in and out or the icons which look like a 2d version of the mac os icons according to your will as possible in other environments for example KDE which is my favorite desktop environment as of now it has a plenty of language support also it allows you to switch to a different power mode it is not that light on the system and did take a bit of my CPU and RAM but might be it does not perform that well in virtual machine and due to some unknown reason I could not flash it properly to a pen drive run it directly on bare metal but also it is shipped with its own calculator text editor that is gedit screenshot app document and image viewer and also a package installer surprisingly no video players or music players were found the lack of a software center is a major caveat in the distro since it targets users who are accustomed to a software center in the respective operating system like Mac or Windows. Also the image viewer looks a bit out of place in the light theme. The menu bar for file manager allows you to do basic operations even without the menus like copy or paste, viewing properties of a file and more. These are practically possible from the keyboard or by using the mouse without the menu bar if it is not present. The screenshot app did not respond to print screen or super plus print screen button combinations. The app launcher did not open when the super key was pressed. 
There are many such subtle problems, but since this is just a beta release, everything will be surely polished up before the final release is done. Comparing it with other desktop environment, somewhere the snappiness is missing. I could not just get that smooth, buttery experience of KDE or GNOME or any other desktop environment on Qtfish as of now. I hope the developers will continue their hard work since I see a plethora of possibilities for Qtfish to become successful. Simple yet beautiful. If you want to experience Qtfish, you can download from the link below. Reminder, this is not ready for daily use. This is a beta version. Consider something like a work in progress. If you just want to test it out, then you can definitely go and check it out. It is definitely worth a try. Judging this distro now can be considered too early, obviously, because it is a beta version, but whatever we can understand from the current release is that if in the future certain more features if added to the distro to make it much fuller in general then it would be much better for example i found that certain basic features are missing in several places for example it needs to have a video and the music player in build by default also it needs to work with some design in certain places for example the image viewer as told earlier so if these certain places are worked out then i think this will be a good release and i found I, and i find no reason not to recommend this to someone who is just changing from mac or windows to linux I have personally changed from Windows to Linux since my PC used to run fine with Windows 10 but after getting the Windows 11 upgrade it just became too bad to go on. So instead of using a system that would actually be not supported after a few years I thought of changing to Linux and I'm using KDE Neon. And now after this change in the Windows universe I think that there are several people in the market who need to switch to Linux for this same reason or if their PC is not supported by Windows anymore. Among them, there might be users who have not, who, who, who have never touched a Linux system. So for them, I don't find any reason why Qtfish cannot be recommended if those changes are implemented after this point. 